No one else has ever been born with this type of leukemia. You think it's never gonna happen to you, and then it happens to you or your kid, and you're like, really? It was in 2005, and we were just in for Maddie's four-month checkup, and they found that her white blood count was high. But they said, don't panic, we're gonna send you to this really great doctor that we know in Charlotte. Turned out to be Dr. McMahon. And after that, we started coming up to see him, but they couldn't find anything abnormal about her except her white blood count. And at that point, Maddie's exam was normal. She was having no symptoms, so I just kind of continued to follow her. And so we came every three to six months for years. I thought about it a lot and asked a lot of people around the country at various meetings, and a lot of them said it was just the way she was and it was probably normal. Technology had advanced so much since the first bone marrow biopsy that they did when she was six months old. They wanted to come back and check it again just to make sure they didn't find anything that was causing this high white count. And so they did the second bone marrow biopsy then, and that's when they found it. We decided to do deep DNA sequencing using very sophisticated next generation sequencing instrumentation that's available within the Carolinas healthcare system, and we identified a mutation in the CSF3R gene. The specific mutation that we identified has been associated recently with patients having a diagnosis of chronic neutrophilic leukemia. It was unique to find this mutation in such a young patient. It was a relief to figure out what it was, and that we had a name to it. The mutation that she has, adults acquire in their life and it causes uh, chronic neutrophilic leukemia, but no one has ever been born with that gene being abnormal. But there certainly was a concern that this would evolve into a more aggressive form of leukemia and that's why we pursued the bone marrow transplant. We discovered her brother was a perfect match, which we thank God for. I wanted to help her out any way I could. It's cancer free. She doesn't have any more leukemia. So it's pretty awesome. She has no evidence of her disease at this time. For the first time, we've diagnosed a child with a very rare form of leukemia, and that diagnosis has led to a cure. Well, I think this case really highlights the collaboration and interaction between the Levine Cancer Institute and the Levine Children's Hospital. Those collaborations and those interactions are only going to get stronger and only produce more and better research going forward.